In other news, the Ministry of Education, Technical and Vocational Training bringing good news to the people of East Grand Bahama and the entire Grand Bahama as they collaborate with the Caribbean Development Bank to conduct a number of constructions, repairs and training across the island. The Bahamas Education Sector Transformation Project held its launching ceremony at the Grand Lucayan where the Prime Minister and a few of his cabinet members were in attendance to announce new exciting news surrounding this $44 million project. Here's that report. It is a $43 million transformation that is anticipated to revolutionize education, construct a comprehensive school in East Grand Bahama, repair and modernize other school facilities in the East, and provide professional development for over 2,000 educators. Those attending the special launch also hearing firsthand how this project will include a number of innovative resources designed to improve infrastructure. The nation's leader, Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis, bringing remarks at the launch ceremony where he describes this project as an avenue to make education more vibrant and inclusive. The goal of the BEST project is to enhance our education system, making it more efficient, inclusive, gender responsive, relevant and resilient. By investing in infrastructure, curriculum development, teacher training and technology integration, we will create an environment where every learner can thrive and reach their full potential. The Prime Minister also adding that this multi-million dollar investment is the latest in the season of major initiatives that are on the table at the Ministry for Education, particularly as the government seeks to secure the students displaced after Hurricane Dorian. We cannot afford to let another year go by without making the necessary investments and rolling out the needed reforms to create a better future for education in the Bahamas. Not when education is so closely tied to productivity and economic growth. As the Ministry of Education partners with the Caribbean Development Bank in this venture, the Bahamas Education Sector Transformation Project is expected to do just that, transform education. The Minister for Education, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, highlighting that investing in education impacts a country's sustainable growth and national progress. A soundly educated population is germane to achieving socioeconomic goals, including enhancing gross domestic product through increasing productivity, higher levels of economic performance, and lower levels of poverty. The Minister for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Ginger Moxie, says that this marks the beginning of a revolution in education and an answered prayer for the students and parents of East Grand Bahama. This investment will bring long-awaited relief to the students, parents, and teachers while enriching the lives of persons residing in East Grand Bahama communities. The impact of this project is said to be felt across the nation and the main objectives will include the construction of the East Grand Bahama Comprehensive School, the retrofitting rehabilitation of schools on Grand Bahama, strengthening the consultancy services for the development of an IT strategy and plan for the Ministry of Education, completing the redevelopment of McLeanstown All-Age School and more. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Jolanda Thompson-Everest.